Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So I'm fossil hunting today, shock, um, and I thought I would show you and bring you with me and just basically show you what I find. Um, so I've already found one little fossil and it's not an ammonite um, for once. So this is a little bivalve known as a pectinid, I believe, um, and it just looks like this. But I, I love all, like I really like just little, little perfect fossils. So um, that's that one I found. And then I also found a really little ammonite, which is adorable. I don't know if you guys can see this. Uh, maybe. It's just very sweet and little. Um, so I just put those in a little bowl at home. But um, I'm looking for some bigger ones. So I'm going to have a look around and then I'll show you what I find. So I'm just going to take, oh yeah, look at my boots as well before I start my feet literally weigh about six tons that might be a slight exaggeration but this clay stuff weighs so much it rained yesterday which has posed a bit of a nightmare for me but a uh, good fun anyway um so if you look at the floor you can literally see there's one there's one there's one there's one there's a big one i'll see what that looks like on the other side because that side's quite a bit quite a bit worn um we got some in here we got some here so there's a lot going on over here <laughs> so let's see what we can find so as you could tell from the state of my boots these fossils are covered in a really sort of like thick sticky clay at the moment um it rained yesterday so hence why i'm having a bad day today um trying to actually see what i'm finding um so for instance a fossil like this it might be really beautiful but it's covered in clay so I'm taking a lot of a lot of stuff home today and then the cleanup process will really reveal what it looks like so there's going to be a lot of soaking and a lot of brushing involved which I'll take you guys through with me and um, because you liked my last um, soaking video so I'll make sure to do that but some of the other stuff I found is this one which is a harposerous ammonite so it's quite a bit bigger it isn't as bad as the other ones covered in clay it's just got a clay middle but this one was on the surface so it's sort of like dried out a little bit um but it just looks like this so um this is a really lovely one and you can see that they've had a bit of distortion um so this would have happened before it got lithified so when the ammonite died and floated down the water column because ammonites actually used to be squid like creatures um it's obviously been either crushed or compacted or it's had some sort of alteration um, post being like deposited on the seafloor so that's what causes this sort of alteration within it but you can see the ribs which are these it's called falco falcoid f-a-l-c-o-i-d i believe I and mean, that's what that shape refers to that ribbing and then you can also see the beautiful suture lines which sort of look like the leaves um, and they just define the chambers that the ammonite once had um, which are filled with air actually so that's a lovely piece so the middle should all clean up so I'll show you guys how I clean this one up when I get round to it Um, I hopefully should be doing them either tonight or over the next few days I'm trying to get a bit better at getting stuff done quicker now that I've finished uni I have no excuses so the other ammonite I found is a nice hildoceros which is covered in crumbly mud um, so it looks like this. I'm gonna chip it out the rock and see what the underside looks like. So I'll do that now with you guys. Oh, I'm just gonna sit down. I'm gonna get a very muddy bum, but that's the fun of fossil hunting. So I'm just using a geological hammer. Um, I'm actually, this is not comfortable. I've spotted another fossil. Um, yeah, it's just a fragment. Okay, so. Yeah, it's not going to come out easily, I don't think, but I've just basically turned it into a much smaller piece of rock. So what I'll do now is I'll take home this um, and then I'll try and fix it up a bit later and see if I can make it look a bit better. So that's that one. And then I did find a nautiloid. Um, so these are still alive today, so they're known as a living fossil. Um, it's not in perfect nick, but if I just try and scrape some of the mud off. You can see what we're dealing with. So you can see it's in the rock like that. So it needs some prep of its own. But 
you can see it's in there so you've got all the chambers just trying to <laughs> make it a bit nicer for you guys but you can see it's in the rock there so I want to try and find some nice nautiloids I know they exist here so I've just got to hunt them but um I seem to I seem to always have more luck with ammonites it's just it's a nice curse to have, but I'm definitely ready to find some different fossils. But um, no, I'll have another look, and then if I find anything new, I'll show you guys. So you'll either watch me right now destroy a fossil or extract a fossil. I don't think there'll be a middle ground, so we'll see what this one does. Um, I don't think this one is actually very nice on the underside of it um, so this is what the top surface looks like so it's another big Harpoceros ammonite um, but I think the first one I found is a lot nicer because um, this surface has had quite a lot of exposure to it but the underside looks like it's not actually there so it's been like eroded off before the rock on top got deposited so um, I think I'm gonna leave this one but that's it if you would like to see it nonetheless so it's a very nice piece it's just when you've got as many as I do <laughs> you gotta be a bit selective so rest in peace this one and then this little piece I found I thought it needs a bit of cleaning up in the middle but I just it's another smaller harposterous but I wanted to show you the suture lines on it I hope it focuses nicely they're really strong on this one and they're really pretty they kind of look spiky, they're nice. So it just looks like that. And you can see this one's had quite a lot of alteration, like it's sort of like been pushed up from the bottom. So you can see like all of this bit here, but yeah, so that's another nice little piece and that should clean up really easy. I'll just give this one a soak and a little brush and it should be there, but I really love unusual like sutures and ribbing on the ammonites. I think it's, cause they can, they can change so much between species. So I really like that one. So I think I finished in this location. I did find a few more before I called it quits um, and they are pretty beautiful. So they're a nice sort of size, these ones. I found this one and then this one's a similar size. They're all a bit dusty, but um, not too bad. So can you guys see it? This one's really beautiful. You can really see the sutures on this one. So I think that this one's going to clean up really beautiful. Um, and then I also found this one, which is the same size again. So it's definitely a common size, this one. Um, so this one, I'm not sure how nice it is under all the muddy bits, but it's definitely all there. So I'm sure it'll be lovely. So um, yeah, that's today's fossil hunting video. So I hope you guys enjoyed and learned a little something. Um, I'm going to be bringing out some more educational videos explaining just what ammonites were, what fossils are, and then I'll go on to explain different types of fossils as well. I seem like the crazy ammonite lady at the moment, but um, I do have interest in other ones as well. So I'm actually, I'm now going to go hunting for some brachiopods and bivalves who like fossilized shells but all of these um, ammonites you just saw are around like 190 million years old so it's so exciting being the first one to see that and seeing what remains so they were these little like squid like creatures as I said but um no so I hope you found this enjoyable and there'll be plenty more to come so please like and subscribe I'll link my Instagram down below so you can check that out but do comment below if you have any questions or would like to see any more specific videos I'll be happy to make them over the next few months so um yeah, thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time.